Hey, welcome to the Cardi Method podcast. We changed the name, but the vibes are still the same. We explore the strategies, the mindset shifts, and the tools that you need to make the leap from your nine to five grind to the life of a living, breathing, creative professional. I'm Cardi, by the way, and today we're going to dive deep into a topic that has the potential to transform your business. Social proof will unpack the science behind why social proof is so important. And I'm going to show you how to leverage it using tools like Google My Business and Senja to propel your creative business to a height that you've never reached before. By the way, if it's the first time you've ever seen me before, I'm Cardi. I help emerging and struggling photographers that are committed to changing their current nine to five reality to the reality of somebody that actually gets paid for their ideas, their creativity, and their photography. I've been a working pro for 33 years and I've been helping photographers like you my voice transition to working pros since 1995. I've been working for years on shifting my mindset and I've completely transformed my life and my photography business. I'm here to help you create your ideal photography life through photography education and these amazing podcasts that I'm doing. If you're serious about taking your creative career to the next level, by the way, this episode's for you. By the end of our time together today, you're going to have actionable steps to harness the power of social proof, and you'll be able to turn it into the cornerstone of your business strategy. So let's get into it. Number one, the science of persuasion and social proof. I'm so excited about today's episode. First, let's get about, let's get into what social proof actually is and why it works. The concept of social proof is one of the six principles of persuasion that have been identified by Dr. Robert Cialdini, who's a leading expert in the psychology of influence. Social proof is all about how people look to the actions and the behaviors of others to determine their own. It's why restaurants that have lineups out the door are more attractive and why products with thousands of positive reviews are more likely to get purchased. But it goes deeper than that. Social proof taps into the fundamental aspect of human psychology. We're wired to follow the crowd, especially when we're unsure of what to do. When our potential clients are deciding whether or not to hire you, they're essentially asking themselves, can I trust this person to deliver what I need? Social proof provides them with the answer. When they see that other people have hired you and other people have had positive experiences, it reassures them that they're making a safe and a smart decision. So let's get into why social proof matters for creative professionals. First of all, Let's bring this into the context of your creative business. If you're a photographer, a designer, or any other type of creative professional, your work's often judged subjectively. Clients might not know the technical aspects that go into your craft, so they rely heavily on social proof to make their decision. This is especially true if you're an emerging, struggling creative that's trying to break out of that nine to five grind and get into full-time creative work. You need every advantage that you can get, and social proof is a powerful tool in your arsenal. When you have strong social proof, whether it's through client testimonials, reviews, or even visible success of your projects, it serves as a form of validation. It's telling potential clients, others have trusted me, they've found value in what I do, so you can too. This drastically reduces the friction in your sales process, which makes it easier for you to close deals and grow your business. So. Let's get into some real world transformations. When you're thinking about how to create a real world transformation, I'm going to talk about some of the real world transformations that I've seen firsthand. And it can actually be seen. And I've helped people. I've helped people transform their creative businesses. Let me share a couple of real world examples. 
one of the photographers that I work with was stuck in the lower end of the market shooting events at rock bottom prices. He was good, but he wasn't get the, getting the kind of work that matched his skill level. So we started focusing on gathering social proof for him, specifically through Google My Business reviews. After every event that he would shoot, he would ask his clients to leave a review. He didn't just ask once, he followed up and made it easy for them by sending them a direct link. After a few months, his profile was filled on Google with glory, glorifying reviews. Those reviews started showing up in search results. And when potential clients who were looking for high quality event photographers began to take notice, the transformation, unbelievable. He went from struggling to a full calendar booked month in advance with clients willing to pay premium rates. The social proof that he had built up made all the difference. Another creative that I was working with is a graphic designer. And he was trying to transition from freelance work with small businesses to landing contracts with larger corporations. She faced competition. Her biggest challenge was proving that she could handle the scale and the complexity of these corporate clients. So I used another tool called Senja. And what that tool does is it collects and displays testimonials. So we collected and displayed some testimonials from previous clients. Instead of just displaying them on her website, we integrated them into her LinkedIn profile, into proposals, into email pitches. They weren't just generic testimonials. They were detailed testimonials highlighting specific outcomes and specific transformations that she was able to deliver for her clients. The results, within six months, she was landing contracts with companies that she thought was completely out of her reach. The social proof that she showcased validated her capabilities and set her way apart from the competition. So let's talk about how you can implement social proof into your business, because that's what we have to do. How do you implement it? How do you start leveraging social proof in your business? It begins with making social proof a part of the routine that you do when it comes to your client interaction. So let's break it down with some simple, actionable steps. Step one, optimize your business on Google My Business. Let's start with Google. This is Google My Business. And you have to have a Google My Business profile. What that actually does is you can fill out all of, this is my Google My Business profile. You can see I can edit my profile. I can check my reviews and I can add photos. The thing that's so amazing about this is you can collect and send this link to be able to get these impressions. Like you can start doing this right away. So if you haven't set up your Google My Business or GMB profile yet, that's your first step. GMB, Google My Business, it's one of the first people, that's one of the first things that people see when they search for your services. So after every successful project, ask your clients to leave a review. Don't just make it a one-time ask, follow up with a reminder and provide a direct link to your review page. You can look at my reviews, 18 Google reviews. And again, it's, it's such incredible to get these kinds of reviews and have this associated rate from Google. Once you set up your profile, you get this link right here, get more reviews. You copy this, you get the CR code and, or the QR code, and you can have reviews for days. Listen to this review. I wish Google will, would allow six stars. Steve went above and beyond for this shoot and exceeded the expectations on every level possible. Quality of person, quality of photography, quality of experience. He guided me through the poses, was so encouraging and helped hype me up about the shots he was taking, showing me the screen so I could share the joy and build my confidence. It was, it was clear that he loved what he was doing and he loves his work, which made me turn in excited for the moment we were sharing together. 
After the moment, my cheeks were hurting from smiling so much, and it felt like it was a dream. I never thought I'd feel this way about a photo shoot. Aren't you supposed to feel self-conscious and scared? Instead, I felt uplifted, confident, and with ease. The photos are jaw-dropping. I've never seen myself like this before. He captured me in an authentic way that I didn't think was possible from behind a lens. The photos I've attached are raw, unedited. This man has a gift. They're exactly what I needed to launch a new career in food and wellness creation. 100% a worthwhile investment. Steve, I can't wait to shoot with you again. And she included photos. She included the photos that I shot of her. And this is another thing that's incredible about Google is you can actually show photos. You can actually include like a little mini portfolio. This is all existing in Google My Business. And if you're not leveraging the amazing power of Google My Business, that might be why no one's calling. This might be why no one's inquiring. Because when they Google Steve Cardi, you're going to see my business, where I am, and my website, and bio, all of this information, and photography. You're going to see all of this here in Google My Business. Ah, by the way, if you guys have questions, please leave all questions that you might have just in chat. The thing that's amazing about doing these and being able to interact with you is all you need to do is leave me a comment after the fact. I reply, and again, I answer, I've answer. i answered every single comment that I've got on this channel over the last year, every single one. Again, the first, first, first thing is Google My Business. That is the first way that you're going to start to collect amazing testimonials. Make sure that your Google My Business profile is complete. Make sure it's professional. Include high quality images of your work, up to date contact information, and a compelling description of what you actually do. The more positive the reviews you accumulate, the more trustworthy that your work appears. Okay? So you have to be trustworthy. That's really the goal. So the next incredible thing that you're going to do is you're going to use Senja for testimonials. Senja is another incredible testimonial collector. You can collect, manage, and share your testimonials. And literally, you can share them on your website. You can collect them so easy. I've adopted Senja as if I'm trying to embed a testimonial on my website, Senja is what I use. And it is absolutely incredible. Let me show you the back end. These are now my most recent testimonials. And all you need to do is select approve. Some of these I haven't even got to. I got new ones in here. And then the thing that's amazing is you just go to studio. And then once studio launches, you can pick what you want to do. I want a widget. So you just take your widget here and then share to website copy the code and you can pop it right in your website. Have a look at the Cardi method and how I'm now leveraging the testimonials that I've got from the photographers that I'm helping within the Cardi method. I'm leveraging those photographers, um, their testimonials, and I'm sharing them right here at the bottom of this website. This is using Senja. All I need to do, I get a new testimonial, I click approve, and the testimonial exists right here. Oftentimes, people leave me videos. When there's a video, there's a transcript. And the transcript, oftentimes, when people say Cardi, because it's pronounced C-A-R-D-I, but it's really C-A-R-T-Y, the, the transcript, the auto transcript makes it say C-A-R-D-I. So I have the ability to go in and correct the transcripts. So when people are reading the video transcripts, my name is spelled right. I can also, these huge blocks of text, if someone decides to write this huge block of text without paragraphs or line breaks, I can go in and do line breaks or correct spelling mistakes. You know what I mean? And things like, but again, these are these people's reviews. And if you make those corrections, it sends them alert to make sure that they approve those corrections, which is pretty amazing. So this is Senja incorporated 
into my website. I chose this template, but you can use, oh my goodness, testimonials have been something that has actually changed my life. It's changed my life so much. It's a fantastic tool, Testenja. It's an incredible tool for collecting and showcasing testimonials. It streamlines the process. It makes it easy for your clients to submit their feedback because Senja is going to give you a link to send to people. So let's go to my Senja. Let's just zoom this back. Let's go to forms. And I have two different forms. I have happy client form for my happy clients when I am shooting photos. And then I have the Cardi method testimonial form. So if I'm sharing the Cardi method testimonial form, I just click share here. And now it gives me all of these different ways that I could share it. I can share it through MailChimp. I can put it through ConvertKit. So there's integrations. So I can just copy the link here. And there's also a QR code, which if you want to shoot this QR code, you can give me a testimonial right now on this video and how great and effective it was. And when you want to look at the website, just have a look at what the little Senja testimonial website looks like. It looks like this. Hey, have I helped you? On your photography journey it can't just between us it can't be just between us the world needs to know as more people learn about what i'm doing your social proof here is what convinces them to watch sign up join or invest in their photography education it's way better coming from you than me share your experience with a quick text testimonial testimonial or even better an effective quick video if you're recording a video don't forget to be enthusiastic about your transformation thanks in advance so right here record a video write a testimonial gives you five stars one star whatever you want to do but it's right here and it's right in a website and it's super super easy people can do this from their phone they can record from their phone it makes it such a streamlined process making it super easy for your clients to submit their feedback. After a project, send a link to your clients so they can quickly and easily leave a testimonial. The thing that's great about Senja is it allows you to curate those testimonials into beautifully designed widgets that you can place on your website, in your email signature, or even within any kind of proposals. Don't just stop at collecting, collecting testimonials though, eh? Make sure that they're visible. You have to use Senja to integrate these testimonials on all your marketing channels, on your LinkedIn. The more places that potential clients see this social proof, the more it reinforces your credibility. So, you guys with me? You with me so far? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so, because I'm definitely, definitely here with you and enjoying this new format. Let's get into the compound effect of social proof. Now, first of all, you have to, before we get into the compound effect, once you have a collection of reviews and testimonials, don't let them sit idle. You gotta share them and Feature them on your portfolio website. Use them in your marketing material. When a client sees consistent, positive feedback about your work, it reduces their hesitation and it builds trust. What we're trying to create is a narrative that shows that you're not just talking the talk, but you're actually walking the walk. And your past clients are so happy that they're willing to vouch for you. So let's get into the compound effect of social proof. One of the most powerful aspects of social proof is the way that it compounds over time. The more social proof that you gather, the easier it becomes to attract new clients. The more clients that you attract, the more social proof that you generate. It's a virtuous cycle that can take your business from struggling to thriving. Think of it like this. Every review, every testimonial, every case study is a building block. Individually, they might not seem like much, but over time, it's creating a foundation of trust and credibility that can support 
even the most ambitious business growth. This is why it's so important to start right now. Don't wait until you have the perfect project or the perfect client. Start gathering social proof with every single project that you complete. Now, there are going to be some challenges. We always face common challenges and big pitfalls. Before we wrapped up today, Let's address some of those challenges and those pitfalls that you might encounter when you're implementing this social proof. The first, the first thing that you're going to encounter is just having the balls to ask for it. I get it. I get it. It feels awkward. It can feel awkward to ask a client for a review or a testimonial, especially if you're just starting out. But here's the thing. If you've delivered value, your clients will want to help you succeed. They just need a little nudge. Another common pitfall is not using social proof effectively. It's not enough to just collect reviews and testimonials. You need to make sure that they're visible. You need to make sure that they're accessible. If your social proof is hidden away on a rarely visited page of your website, it's not doing you any good. Make it a point to feature your best reviews and your best testimonials predominantly across all your marketing channels. And finally, authenticity matters. Potential clients can tell when something feels too good to be true. Make sure your testimonials are genuine and reflect the experiences of your clients, the real experiences. Authentic, detailed testimonials are far more persuasive than generic praise. Oh, Cardi, he's great. He's great. He's, it's like, why is he great? How did he help you? So here's some actionable steps that you can take today. The next step for you, first, start by taking a close look at your current social proof. Do you have enough? Is it visible? Are you using it to its full potential? If not, now it's time, it's time actually today. Make changes today. Implement these steps that I talked about. Optimize your Google My Business profile. Start using Senja to collect and display testimonials. By the way, I've included a link in the video description. So make sure that you're leveraging social proof across all your platforms. The sooner that you start, the sooner that you're going to see a transformation in your business. Remember, Social proof isn't just a nice to have thing. It's a powerful science backed tool that can propel your creative business to new heights. Use it wisely and watch your business blow up in the best way possible. Thank you, by the way, for tuning in to this Cardi Method podcast. And by the way, it used to be Ask a Photo Pro, but now it is the Cardi Method. If you found value in today's discussion, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the button, say this. And if you're watching or listening on iTunes or Apple Music or Spotify, leave me a review. It's the best way to help other people discover this kind of content and discover me. I'm trying to blow this shit up here. If you're ready to take your creative career to the next level, Look at my website. Go to the Cardi Method. There's so many resources there and I can help you one-on-one -on -one get to the next level. If today's episode brought you value, leave me a comment. If you want to use Senja, make sure you check the link in the video description. If you need some help from me, make sure you go to the Cardi Method and take your professional photographer's readiness scorecard because those results, you can take them to the bank and Thank you so much for watching. I hope today brought you value. Make sure again, you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. If this is the first time that you've ever seen me. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm at Steve Cardi on all the social medias. You can also find BTP with Cardi, which is the viewer generated Instagram. If you've submitted to me and have won a photo of the week, you'll find yourself on my Instagram. We also have a brand new behind the picture sub stack, which we send out weekly to everybody on the subscriber list. So I'm going to also include that behind the picture sub stack. If you want the opportunity to actually not just get your photo reviewed by me, 
But you could win photo of the week. If you win photo of the week, then you get published and we send it out to our network of people who are watching this program. It's the beginning of publishing. The next thing after that is the book at the end of the year of all the photo of the week winners. Guys, I hope today brought you value. This commercial free premiere was brought to you by the members of this channel. At the end of this premiere, we add the commercials. You know the vibes. Guys, I hope this brought you value. We will see you on the next one. And again, if you became a member recently, you're going to see your name scroll across the top of the screen. And I thank you. I appreciate you for becoming a member. And of course, if you became a subscriber recently, thank you. Thanks for becoming a believer. You're going to see your name scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching The Cardi Method. Please go to thecardimethod.com to join my community, to participate in photo reviews, and to get yourself to the next level. Again, if this is a podcast that you like, please subscribe on all platforms. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.